Mr. Speaker, Canadian development priorities are getting all mixed up under this government. Conservatives froze our aid budget, then cut funding to long-standing Canadian aid partners. Governing is all about choices. Instead of helping poorer nations and fostering development, the Conservatives are asking taxpayers to subsidize projects for some of the world's wealthiest corporations. Mr. Speaker, simple question. Why has this minister decided to cut aid to developing countries and subsidize wealthy corporations? The Honourable Minister of International Cooperation. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. In fact, Mr. Speaker, this government is about using its development uh, funds to make sure we're getting results and we're making in the dif uh, difference in the lives of those we want to help. We want to make sure that the unemployed youth that, who are growing every year in developing countries are going to have the skills and the training they need to get, be gainfully employed. They want to increase their income and help increase the incomes of their families. This is the best way to reduce poverty, and this is why we're using our aid dollars effectively. Member for Newton, North Delta. Mr. Speaker, I'm sure we can agree that aid shouldn't be used to benefit profitable corporations or finance activities that would happen anyway. We should not be doing the work of corporations in training their own personnel. Let's remember, CEDA's mandate is to reduce poverty, not to further private sector interests or short-term trade priorities. Will the minister commit to ensuring that CEDA's work focuses on creating the best conditions for development, not just a PR boost for mining companies? Cooperation. Mr. Speaker, our government wants to ensure that we're utilizing the expertise, the experience, and the knowledge, leveraging our ability to help people in, poverty, in living in poverty. That means we're going to look to the private sector, we're going to continue our good partnerships with civil society and NGO organizations. By max we can maximize the value of our aid dollars by using the best that Canada has to offer to help those living in developing countries. The Honourable Member for